Welcome back. It was certainly a big day for high school hoops as our class 4A and 5A teams took part in their respective regional title games headlined by an all Siouxland matchup here in Sioux City as Spencer took on Bishop Heelan. Crusaders winners of the last four meetings looking to make it five in a row while punching their ticket to the well. Heelan, they're up big in the third quarter and they would add to it right here. Brooklyn Stanley finds a slash and Jada Newberg. She gets it off the glass for the two points. A couple minutes later, it's Newberg connecting with Maddie LaFleur in the paint. She gets it to go, plus the foul, and one. Helan leading by 20 after the third quarter. Spencer, though, not backing down just yet. They go to Jada Piercy. The Northwestern commit knocks down the three, but it was all Bishop Helan. Lauren Peck rattles in a triple of her own. A total team effort here as the Crusaders down Spencer, 42-22, to punching their ticket to state for the fourth time in five years. A good win for Coach Kulstra and his program. We'll see how it goes next week. It feels really good. We finished the season last year less than we wanted to, so we're ready to get back there. GPAC Conference Tournament time, Briarcliff and Morningside. Women in the quarterfinals. Chargers on fire early with a 4-0 run. Peyton Winger makes it 7 with a corner triple. She had 11 points. Mustangs needed a timeout. BC Nation flying their flags. Morningside clawing back in the second quarter. Trailing 32-18. Sophia Peppers kisses it off the glass from the block. She had a lot of that tonight. Game high, 23 points from her. Morningside wanting more. Alexis Spire, the strong drive at the cup. And one and two of the juniors. Eight in this one. Mustangs, though, still down 13. But Briarcliff always had a response. Keegan Held showing off the handles. Stopping and popping for the mid-range J. Money. This one going to overtime with the Chargers to fail to advance to the semifinals 85 to 82. The final. Now the quarterfinals in the men's tournament. Same matchup. Morningside on the brink of a season sweep. Late second half. Stangs ahead 79 64. Joey scoffed the baseline feed to Dylan Johnson. Big man cashes in the trade. Chargers wanting to talk this one over. They'd find a quick solution here though. Jaden Klenna has a link heating up from downtown with back to back triples. The Sheldon product 21 points here tonight. Team had 16 threes, 84 73 game. Morningside refused to let them hang around though. Jack Dotzler dicing up that defense at Bucket and the Bruise. What a move from the Omaha native. He wasn't through with the Chargers yet though. Dotzler with the rock soon after. Same drive, same result. 16 points for the sophomore tonight. Morningside breaks the century mark over Briarcliff 101 95. They host Dort in the semis this Saturday. Now moving over to Nebraska, postseason doubleheader at Why Not. First up, the Blue Devils hosting the Blue Jays. First quarter, Why Not gets the game's offense rolling. Pretty hook shot by Jay Schroeder. Well till on the other end, Adrian Phillips recovers the ball at half court. Hits the defense with a fake out and the finish. Next possession, Phillips again puts his defender in the blender. It's a tough shot fading away from the rim. Crucial sequence for Why Not here now. Dylan Heine over on the corner, drills the three, but well till unable to keep any sort of possession here. Zach Foxhoven. Gets the steal and the quick layup. A nice five-point swing here for the Blue Devils as Why Not went at home 66-37. Second half of the doubleheader here now. Wassa taking on Windside. Steal here to start the game. Joshua Wander with a quick thinking to feed Jackson Clawson, who finishes with the layup. Windside seeing their offense clicking to find from the paint to Daxton Beamer. Feeling it from downtown. Cash. Beamer again here in the very next play. Getting the friendly bounce off the push shot for the Wildcats. Solid sequence here on the road. Jumping to the second half now. Viking showing some life. Corner three pure from the wing. Credit to Colton Bowie from offense to defense. Now Windside going for the fast break. Buck with the Vikings come up with that chase down block. And get that out of here. Jackson Clawson now getting the ball in the paint with a spin move. Finishes with a layup plus the foul. You can count that one. Wassa making big plays to pull away in the fourth quarter. Clawson drives and elevates for the poster. Slam and jam. Poster alert. Vikings winning a thriller. 55-46 the final. In South Dakota, Class A, Region 4 semis. EPJ hopes, hoping to survive in advance at T area. First quarter, Huskies trail by four when they worked it inside to Bentley Colbaum. She converts two of her six points. EPJ trailing six to four. Minutes later, the Titans begin to find their stride. Katie Vaseka goes cross court to Maya Weber, who hits the triple. T area jumping out to a 13 4 lead. Late in the half, Titans continuing to roll. Vaseka pokes the ball free, runs the floor. Easy layup. Two of her game high 23 points as EBJ season comes to a close. 56 36 to final. Strong season for the Huskies, full of memorable moments. Up next, though, staying in South Dakota, the Panthers of Dakota Valley trying to secure the win. Same region, same class. DB hoping to advance past the Lennox. And here we go in the third quarter. Orioles trying to pull away. Ryan Hansen drives through the lane, finishes off the window. Lennox leads 42 31. But back come the Panthers in the fourth. They feed Joseph Vandenhol. 
inside. She earns the hoop and the harm. She had 16 points. DB, just like that, pulls back within five. However, the Orioles did not allow it to get any closer here late in the game. Shot clock winding down. Andy Peters hits the long triple. She led all scores with 17. Lennox advances with a 56-48 win over Dakota Valley.